Imagine, if you will, a world where artificial intelligence does all the coding for us. Sounds like a programmer's paradise, right? But how much should we rely on AI for coding? Today, we're going to dive into this dilemma. In the modern era of technology, learning how to program has become significantly easier with the advent of AI tools. They're like magic wands, generating code, providing solutions, and often making our lives as coders much easier. Tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot have become indispensable assets in the coding world. But like any powerful tool, they should be used wisely. Now, here's the catch. There's a growing concern that these AI tools could inadvertently promote a form of cheating among programmers, especially those who are still learning the ropes. Instead of understanding the underlying concepts and logic, they might lean too heavily on AI-generated code. It's like using a calculator to solve every math problem without learning the formulas. To address this, educators have come up with unique solutions, like a virtual rubber duck chatbot called CS50Duck. It's a tool that answers course-related queries but doesn't provide direct answers to homework problems. It's a way of encouraging students to think for themselves. The key here is balance. AI coding assistants can be incredibly beneficial. They can offer more personalized assistance, free up time for other areas of instruction and reduce the workload. But the code generated by these AI tools is not infallible. It can sometimes be less effective or even detrimental to the quality of a code base. Understanding the code that AI tools generate is crucial. It's not just about getting the code to work, it's about knowing why it works and how it can be improved. Framing questions effectively to get the desired code output is an essential part of this process. Remember, while AI tools can be exceptionally helpful, they are not a substitute for understanding programming concepts and honing problem-solving skills. It's like learning to drive, you can use all the GPS and automated systems you want, but in the end, it's your understanding of the car and the road that will get you to your destination safely. In summary, AI tools are a fantastic resource for programmers but they should not be the crutch we lean on. We should use them wisely, understand the code they generate, and not skip the process of learning and understanding programming concepts. With consistent practice and a balanced use of AI tools, becoming a competent software developer is within anyone's reach. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that AI tool to generate your code, ask yourself, do I understand what this code will do? Can I explain it to someone else? If the answer is no, it might be time to hit the books again, because in the end, a tool is only as good as the person wielding it. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insightful videos on AI and coding. Your support helps us continue to create content that supports your journey as a coder and helps us grow a community of like-minded enthusiasts. We've got some exciting things lined up for you in the coming weeks. Expect more deep dives into the world of AI, from exploring the intricacies of advanced algorithms to practical tips on how to use AI tools effectively. We're also planning a series of interviews with leading experts in the field, giving you a glimpse into the future of coding. So if you're as passionate about AI and coding as we are, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our content. Stay tuned for more and happy coding.